So over the past few days now, Pokimane has fired off some pretty ridiculous tweets here. She's made some pretty hot takes on the Twitter timeline, I guess. I mean, she quite literally called out half the human race on this Twitter tirade she went on. Now, first off, before we jump into the situation on Pokimane being completely delusional, I just want to point out the fact that this type of Twitter drama is not new at all for Pokimane. This is a pretty often occurrence at this point on Pokey's Twitter, where she'll say some outlandish stuff that obviously gets people fired up and then she just plays it off by subtweeting stuff like positive vibes only sunshine emoji or people aren't nice enough because she can't take the heat after making some pretty stupid tweets. Now with all that being said, this all popped off a few days ago when Pokimane went on her second Twitter account where she made a pretty bold tweet to say the least. So I'm gonna have to dance around this tweet because it's pretty vulgar here. But she says, in this industry, a girl messes up, what a fake, such a worthless person, also so go respawn in Roblox. Now first off, she definitely should have gave some examples here. I mean, I can't really think of anyone off the top of my head that really fits this description, that, that really fits what she's talking about, maybe Katerino. Now moving on here, she says, a guy messes up, OMG King, don't worry, everyone makes mistakes. We know you have a good heart and we will be here for you forever. I mean, where do I even start with this one? So according to Pokimane's tweet here, female content creators just get crucified, you know, cancel they lose their job, no more income, no fan base anymore, everyone turns on them. I mean, did we just forget Alinity exists? She launched her cat like LeBron James making a no-look pass to Anthony Davis and we're just pretending like she doesn't still stream to thousands of viewers almost every day. Does Pokimane think that situation just got men in black memory swiped from everybody? And then on the other hand here, she said when a male content creator messes up on the internet, nothing happens. You know, I guess nobody of the male gender has ever been cancelled before. I mean, it's not like Shane Dawson was completely cancelled by the internet just a few weeks ago now. The dude lost the majority of his income and was shunned by the entire internet. But if Pokimane's tweet is true, I guess I never caught on to the memo that Shane Dawson is a female. Not sure when that news broke. Now, Pokimane added on to this tweet here, and she said it sucks because I can understand why. Guys have an easier time relating to guys and girls to girls. So if a community is male dominated, there's bound to be biases. But I hope that in this day and age, we can learn to be both fair and empathetic with others regardless of this. Now I'm not even going to say Pokimane's 100% completely incorrect on this one, but how can you make such a bold claim like this and give zero examples? Nothing to back it up, you're just going to throw it out there. Just fire that one off on Twitter. I, I don't know in what world she thought that was going to go over correctly. Now Keemstar ended up catching wind of this tweet and he said this is absolutely not true this woman is always painting gaming entertainment in a bad light and i mean it's definitely not the most clear-cut tweet ever just like pokimane's he gives no examples whatsoever pokimane just says we're treated like this keemstar says no you're not and none of them give like any reasoning or examples behind it i mean i think pokimane's tweet is pretty far off reality and i can immediately think of examples to back that up j station that guy entirely lost his income because he made some pretty questionable content. Like I said, Shane Dawson completely canceled. He also lost the majority of his income. I'm sure he still has sponsorships and stuff like that outside of YouTube ad revenue. Alinity was never banned after all the situations with her cat. Now, obviously, a ton of people disagreed with Pokimane on this tweet. It's a pretty wild one, to say the least. One of the top replies here was, this statement is so blanket, it made me want to go back to bed. Nothing is ever 100% one way and zero the other. Hard for us to perceive that when we're in our own bubbles though, which unfortunately we are all guilty of to some extent, whether intended or not. Which is definitely a really valid comment, and then Pokimane responds here by saying, it's obviously a generalization of what usually happens in majority male industries. Not trying to be like, F all men, I'm just stating what I've generally observed being in this scene for seven years. Which, like I've been saying this whole time, I haven't really seen any evidence that backs that up. I mean, she says in her tweet that if you make any mistake as a female content creator, your career is done for practically. But clips have gone around on Twitter before of Pokimane in I guess her earlier Twitch days saying the N-word. And there's like multiple clips of this, so according to Pokimane's 
definition here, she shouldn't have a career. I mean, she's defying her own logic. So anyway, with all that being said, that's where I'm gonna wrap up this video. Definitely let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments. Do you think Pokimane is completely delusional here? Do you agree with her? Definitely let me know. I'm gonna be reading through all those. And with that being said, that's where we're gonna wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at RelaxYT. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.